And we want to turn now to First Coast News crime and safety expert Mark Bachman, who was here at First Coast News tonight. Mark, uh, we've all watched this on edge as it took five days to capture this man accused of killing Deputy Moyers. When you look at the way that this all came to an end today, what are your biggest takeaways? Well, the biggest takeaway for me is just the, the relentless pursuit of it. I mean, the leadership of the sheriff here, who was very candid with the public, said what, what, they, you know, what, what they were going to do. They quadrant off an area. You had, tw you had 15 to 20 different agencies assisting, and they never gave up the scope of, a, of looking for them, uh, and, they, and they just tracked them down. They tracked down somebody that killed one of their own, and that's what they should have done. Uh, and that was, that was to me, the, the, the most uh, daunting task for them. You know they're tired. You know it's been a lot on them. Um, and with the, slight of pro pro the slightest provocation, they, they could have used deadly force, and they didn't. And they used great restraint. And, and, and that, after that period of time, I commend them for that, highly commend them for it. But at the same time, you know, what the sheriff said isn't too far afield from the way most people, especially in law enforcement, think. And, you know, this took such coordination between different agencies to come there. You're talking about Nassau County, a, a small county, uh, but we saw help come in from all different areas. Um, and, and you think that this works just in a great way, seeing all of these agencies come together to work together, unified uh, and leading ultimately to the peaceful capture of McDowell. Yeah, without a doubt, you have those mutual aid agreements that, that exist amongst the sheriff's offices. You had state agencies, you had federal agencies, some, you know, just it had all of, of everybody that they could, that could give people to assist, and they did. And even, even with that many people and the growing numbers kept growing daily to search for them, yeah, they were still tired. But like the sheriff said, they were not going to give up, and they didn't. And Mark, they didn't give up and they stayed specifically focused on this one area. From the beginning, they told us they thought that he was in the Callahan area and that proved to be correct. Uh, that focus, uh, do you think that helped lead to this outcome today? I do. I think it, uh, they knew that, they, that he had uh, gotten in that area and they set up a quick perimeter right away. Um, they coordinated off immediately. We, the sheriff we, did a fantastic job of making the public aware of it, especially the people that live in that Callahan community. So uh, I think they felt good that he was still there. Uh, you know, you just had a vast area there to cover. It was going to take some time, that's for sure. And it did. It took five days, but it resulted in his apprehension, and they never gave up. All right, Mark Bachman, our crime and safety expert. Thank you for your expertise tonight, and we'll continue to touch base with you on this developing story. Thanks, Mark.